video. This is Brian here unboxing the little Boker Plus TD. Uh, TD must stand for tactical, probably tactical design, I imagine. I'm guessing on that, but it's a little Boker Plus knife. I damaged the box open and cutting the bag open, but it came in very good condition this time. Other than that, <clears throat> this is a model number. Uh, uh, 01B0190. Um, this this is a little different knife than most of my Boker uh, folders. A um, couple little oddities in this knife I'm going to point out to you. They're not not a big deal. It's just something that's not. This didn't have any warranty card in it like they normally do. Just probably an oversight. It's a uh, looks like it's brand new product and everything but uh, here's a little knife right here it's a much lighter design than I'm used to with the most of the bokers I got are built really heavy design let me uh, flip on the old yeah oh yeah that's better yeah so let's just move that box out of the way that's there's the knife you can see it's got a real nice little pocket clip on it it says boker on it it's painted black these handles are Zytel, and uh, this is not inserts here. This is just where the Zytel is, doesn't have the checkering on it to give you a little contrast for gripping. Uh, you'll notice under the pocket clip here is plain material. It's not checkered, so it's not going to wear the inside or wear your pants pocket too bad. So that's pretty good design on that. Um, this pocket clip is reversible, which is uh, not that common on the lower end folders. This is a uh, this is a Boker Plus, however. This is not actually the low end product line. It's the medium grade. And that brings me to the second oddity of this knife. Uh, this knife on the blade, uh, I'm going to open this puppy up here. Um, as you can see, it kind of looks like a little Spiderco Delica or Spiderco Tenacious. I mean, that's what it looks like, kind of the design. But as you can see there, it says <clears throat> Boker Plus on it. It is a Boker Plus. And the Boker Pluses are made in Asia instead of China. You know, they're made in typically Taiwan. And uh, this is made in Taiwan because it says... Taiwan, you probably can't see it, but it says it right under the blade there, uh, right in the, this uh, area right in here. It's got Taiwan stamped real small. So it is a Boker Plus. However, the oddity I wanted to point out is uh, on the blade right here at the bottom, it's stamped Magnum. So it says Baker Boker Plus here, and it says Magnum is stamped on the blade. So that's kind of bizarre. Uh, I would say it is a Boker Plus knife, though, for sure. Just because of the design is uh, not their typical uh, low-cost folder design. It's a very light knife compared to the other Bokers I have. Uh, it's not may not be as sturdy. It's sturdy enough, though. It's uh, pretty pretty beefy for the weight. This uh, knife weighs three ounces. The blade is Aus Eight steel. So it's a good steel, and uh, the handle's made out of Zytel, 100% Zytel, no liner in there. So about 95% of the weight of this knife is this little screw in the blade. Uh, the Zytel handle probably weighs about a quarter of an ounce, um, so that almost the entire weight of the knife is this. It's a pretty beefy little blade for such a small knife. There's no side-to-side -side play in this knife. No side-to-side -side play, and the lock-up is good and sturdy. I don't have any. This is a lock-back knife. See, it's not a, it's not a liner lock knife. So, it's a little different design than I'm used to getting. There's a little shot of the edge on the knife. Not too bad. I'm sure, it'll slice paper real good. The smaller the knife and the thinner the blade, of course, the more like a real razor you're going to get. 
this this does seem like it's pretty darn sharp I'd have to be careful there I cut myself so um, basically uh, it's a little uh, Zytel lock back very light it's got a nice little uh, lanyard hole in it pretty cool like I said isn't to me of a spider co I think that's the brand I'm thinking of the way it looks I've never owned a spider co yet so because I'm pretty new to knives so I'm still focused on the Boker line. I'm going to kind of move from one line to another and get the knives I like and kind of get to focus on one line at a time so I can become familiar with their products and instead of jumping around from, you know, while I'm getting a foundation in my ed education in knives, I'm just going to kind of go one brand at a time pretty much. I mean, I do have some other brands, but uh, most of my knives are Bokers so far. Little Boker Plus. Uh, See if there's anything else I can tell you about this knife. Um, safety back lock. Uh, that's a three inch blade. I don't know if I mentioned that. The overall length is uh, about seven and a quarter, seven and an eighth. Uh, but the one thing about this blade, if you were piercing into something, you don't have a thumb stud here. A lot of their big magnum pocket knives that are built so sturdy they have a thumb stud and they have a pretty big uh, unused part of the blade here behind the thumb stud this one here uh, you know if you were piercing into something you could pierce all the way up to this pocket clip so you'd get a pretty pretty deep pierce for a three inch blade um, anyway it's a pretty little knife one mistake I made was when I bought the knife, uh, and it may kind of even looks like it on this camera, but when I bought the, this, I thought this paint was white on the blade, but it's actually a silver color. It's a nice looking little knife, though. Get one more look at this side. Okay, so that's it. That's the unboxing of the Boker Plus TD. Thanks for watching.